what's the film you're working on? What are you doing right now? Well, the film I'm working on right now is a documentary about water issues in Mexico City. How did you get involved in doing this documentary? Well, after doing the film Which Way Home, we were premiering the film in Mexico at the Morelia Film Festival, and HSBC, the bank, approached me and wanted to fund the next film I was going to make, but it needed to be specific to Mexico. Was this your concept? They had no, it was not my concept. I had other ideas that I wanted, of other films I wanted to make, but this concept was specifically um, from Alejandra Luciada and Jose Cohen. And Alejandra and Jose worked with me on Which Way Home. So they thought of some ideas about environment or sustainability that they thought were really pertinent to Mexico. What was your footprint in making this a film that would be of interest to you? You know, I really didn't know until I got here. I mean, until you develop and research an idea or a story and really see what is really going on, that's, I think, when you begin to understand it and also when you begin to feel passion for it. The source material you guys look at is so different from one film to the next. How do you pick a subject? There's casting that goes on. Some filmmakers approach it by meeting a lot of different subjects and then picking the ones that maybe appeal the most on camera or that have the most grave story that people can feel something for. I, the, 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 the problem I'm having down here is wherever we go, everyone has a compelling reason and a compelling story and a situation affecting them that is rather drastic. When you've been shooting, what are the days that, that um, you, you've worked on something and it's just been, it totally has changed the film, the, the concept of what you thought the film would be? Well, that happens a lot. I mean, on Which Way Home, the film was about child migrants who are in search of their parents. That was my focus, solely. But as the filmmaking, you know, the production took place, other children came into view that had different reasons for migrating. So then the film, instead of having this very narrow focus that I started off only wanting, it got wider in focus. Um, so hopefully the more you're spending time with the subject and you're in that world, it's going to lead you to other things that you should be paying attention to instead of what you believe it should be, you know, from the beginning. Can you give a specific example of, of a way that that literally changed the film and made it into a more compelling film? Well, I mean, in Sister Helen, my idea was we're going to be with, the, with Sister Helen and her guys, and then we're going to go into their lives, but then we're going to follow them. If they leave the house, let's follow them out into their lives. And that was my idea. Like, I was focusing in on one of the guys' wife was having a baby, and I thought, oh, he's just struggling with his crack addiction, but his wife is giving birth. Will he be there? Will he be out doing drugs, or will he be there at the hospital? So I was very concerned about maybe we should work on this and be there. And then all of a sudden, Sister Helen had this seizure. The day we were wrapping, actually. It was our last day of filming, and the seizure took place, which led to her death. That's an example of real life taking over where any idea of your idea of an ending to the film or what you think would make it stronger is totally thrown out the window. Then the entire rest of the film was about her collapse, her demise, and was the house going to survive after without her. But it's interesting because I hope in the films that I make that real life takes over and dictates the story. What do you have to say to filmmakers who are looking to become documentarians and are trying to break into this field? Well, I mean, the thing I always say is I hope this is really, 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 really what you want to do and that you have a story that you really, really, really want to tell, no matter what, because this is a very hard field. Funding is a nightmare. It's very competitive. And no matter what, you have to have that desire that this story is really important and that you're going to complete it and tell it. And you have to do that and be single-minded in achieving that, whether people support you or not. And if you can live that life and live that kind of emotional roller coaster and still stay sane and still love it, then you're the perfect documentarian.